What's up, brothers? Is it cool if I share what I'm reading this morning, my scripture? So I'm reading Revelations 11. And um, I just had an idea about, you know, earth and whatever. So it's 11, like 18. The nations were angry. Your wrath has come. The time for judging the dead and rewarding your servants, the prophets, your saints, and those who reverence your name, both small and great. And for destroying those who destroy the earth. So I read that destroying those who destroy the earth. And, you know, the first thing that I thought of were natives and how precious the earth is to natives and how how much it was important to them and how much reverence they gave to Mother Nature and all of that. And, um, watch the, for, and it also reminded me of karma too, like, you know, Christians really don't like the word karma, but it really is just reaping and sowing. What you put out, you know, comes back to you regardless of what you call it. I mean, destroying those who destroy the earth, right? Like, man, people have such mm, evil in their hearts and they, they don't care about the, the world and the earth and what they're doing. They just, they only care, care about corporations and more and more money and they, they don't care about the footprint that they leave, man. And that's something that natives really like, love and care about and we'll shut up out so that's what I thought of when that, but also like to read on in 12, the great wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet. My bad, I'm trying to read from my phone and a crown with 12 stars on her head. So I mean, like all like, you know, these are open to interpret like, you know, like my revelation of it's not like the entire revelation or it's just what was speaking to me in my heart, but it really reminded me of like the female aspect of the universe of, of like the womb of the universe, the universe being like the womb of the mother, like just complete darkness. And it's where a spark of light is born into. Right. So even like our minds, like when we have sparks of light of ideas, like, Oh, creativity, like, Oh, I have like this idea or whatever. And, and I'm going to carry it out. Is that idea from God or is it like a lower nature idea trying to like break into heaven of our mind, right? Of the, the Eden soul. But it, it reminded me like, you know, hold on, a little bit more. She was about to give birth. Another sign appeared in heaven. The red dragon with seven heads. It was shot about it. His tail swept a third of the stars. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that the might devour the child the moment that it was born. And that's, you know, that's the Savior. So it's like Mother Mary. And these are things that are like, shh, man, kind of, I don't know why it's taboo to talk about. Like, because it, it gets real contradicting and people have different opinions about it. And it's like, man, can we just have a discussion in love without it being like or taken this way and that way? But it's like. Two of the aspects really are three, the the natives and caring about the earth so much, the idea of karma, and then the aspect of the feminine, the mother nature of the universe and the earth from which we are sown. We are rocks sown from um, the father and spirit and then, or whom, sorry, whom, whatever, taken from the mother as well, the mother aspect. So, I mean, those are just three aspects that I think that are good to meditate on and it also reminded me of so Genesis two fifteen. I'm gonna try to Where are we at? My bad Joe. And the Lord God took man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work in it and to take care of it. So that's one that I always refer back to because it's like people forget we are supposed to take care of this earth. We are supposed to that should be common sense. Like, oh, it's like what you put out comes back to you. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in karma. It's, something's happening regardless of what you want to call it. It should be common sense to take care of the earth that we live on, right? Like all this stuff should be common sense, but so so much of it has just been thrown out, like like uh, demonized and just made taboo when it really isn't. It's just how it is. But I, I just wanted to share that with you and keep it short. And I love you and God bless your day. And yeah. And also, I wanted to say also to like the dragon rising, the serpent rising to snatch the ideas. It's like an idea is born into our hearts, our minds. It's like, oh, man, this would be an amazing idea. And it's in resonance with our soul. And it's from God. And it's just like born into us. It's, it's like in alignment with our purpose. It's something like trying to get us to move forward in something good. And um, 
the enemy really like I think has been made an outside thing too much instead of really just it being the negative lower aspects that like I'd like to think of it more as like the polarized like way of viewing it that there's an equal and opposite reaction right as soon as we get a good idea that, that enemy is going to come and try to snatch it like oh no it's not like your art's not going to sell people are going to hate it all this all these negative like condemning voices from within us like so yeah those are the thoughts and the reading and what i felt and i just wanted to share it so much love and god bless you all man out